Hey Swaggy Swans, this is going to be a baby hair care Q&A. We started with Savannah with a hair care routine here at four weeks and I'm going to show you how we went from this to her hair flourishing and growing tremendously with the tips I've used. And this is where we're at now at her seven months old. Grab a notebook. This is going to be long, but it's definitely going to be useful. Enjoy. Hey guys, so you wanted a baby hair care question and answer video. You guys voted on what video you wanted to see next that's what won so if you've been following us from the beginning when savannah was a baby you know that i've been doing a pretty much a hair care routine i literally get no exaggeration it has to be about thousands of questions at this point a lot of them are repetitive i do have a notebook i tried to narrow it down to the you know most frequently asked questions i would say this should answer your question whether you have a son or a daughter okay and then at some point in the video I'll probably just show you real quick like what I do to Savannah's hair especially when it's just like out chilling what products do you use for Savannah's hair I use the products that I have always used it's been one specific line not to say that that won't change but since birth I've only used the Shea Moisture products in her hair I haven't used any other brand. Again, that may change, um, or even in a couple of months, I don't know, but those products have been good to me. This is not a sponsored video or anything. So I use the Shea, Shea Moisture Line products for babies is what I started out with her. It was a um, Argan Oil Baby Hair Wash is what I used in her hair pretty much primarily the first six to seven months of her life. Going into six to seven, I transitioned to their mango and carrot kids extra nourishing shampoo and here's a conditioner that i only use once a month in her hair i'll condition it another product that i use is their kids two-in-one drama-free detangling leave-in conditioner i also get asked a lot why do i only wash her hair once a week because depending on your child you know what's best for your child if i wash savannah's hair too many times in one week it will actually dry it out, okay? I'll be stripping it of its natural oil. Does her hair shed when you comb it? When I comb my daughter's hair, I notice strands in my hand. Any advice? No, I don't get any strands that come out when I comb her hair. And if you're getting strands when you're combing, a, especially a baby's hair, I would say that it's probably because it's either too dry and it's not reacting well to whatever products that you're using so you might want to switch up the products i don't think a baby's hair sh you should be getting um you know strands and strands of hair like your questions next question do you have to clip her ends i do not clip savannah's ends i never have and um yeah no how old was she when you stopped using all-in-one shampoo and body wash products? So again, I stopped using that around the six to seven month mark. Do you oil her hair every day? And what kind of oil are you using? Okay, I am using Jamaican black castor oil. In that video that pretty much went viral in a sense, I think it has almost 600,000 views. But hey, Mamas. In that video, that was Jamaican black castor oil, not regular castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil. Now, that is what I use. And do I oil her hair every day? No, I do not. Okay, because that is a very thick oil. Even though Savannah has a lot of hair on her head, it's very thick. Um, I just don't want to use it in her hair every day. So currently, I'll use it about twice a week. What did you use to do for your son's hair? Okay, you guys, a lot of people ask me that, and it makes sense because it's not just girls. Um, you know, people have sons, and they want to take care of their son's hair as well, their little baby boys. So what I did, I did not have him wear a bonnet, obviously. Um, you can just get a satin pillowcase. And what I would do is I would lay the satin pillowcase down wherever he was laying down to sleep, okay? So he wasn't on cotton surfaces, he wasn't on wool surfaces, none of that. He was laying on a satin pillowcase without the pillow. And also, if you don't wanna do a bonnet even for your daughters, you can get a satin pillowcase, lay it down wherever they sleep so that the back of their hair, sides of their hair, 
is um, rubbing on satin versus other harsh materials and I just kept it moisturized and you can look at my old videos to see London had an afro that was like this big. For the longest until I finally cut it because he was tender headed. Next question, please give advice. My baby's hair is starting to have a bald spot in the back. All right. Um, I get this DM to me a lot on Instagram. If your child is starting to lose hair in the back, which is a common thing for a lot of people's kids, um, again, what I just said about the satin pillowcase, I would get a satin pillowcase. I would do the bonnet. If you're not comfortable with the bonnet, fine. Definitely change the surfaces that they are sleeping on. Their hair is getting irritated. Sometimes I think it can just be genetics and it's gonna naturally happen to some kids no matter what you do, which is okay because it's gonna grow back. Like it's not gonna be like that forever. But if you want to try to be proactive and definitely change the surfaces, also change the hats. A lot of those baby hats, they're really cute, right mamas? They're really cute, but um, the material is a little bit too harsh for some of our children's texture of hair. Also, the snow suits or the coats that you get kids, the inner lining of the jackets, check and make sure that for one, it's not wool and it's not a harsh material. Does it matter if the castor oil you use has a scent? So no, it doesn't matter. Aren't all babies supposed to lose their hair? Did Savannah. Okay, you can look at all of my videos. No, Savannah did not lose hair. My son didn't lose his hair. Um, so a lot of people I think think that that babies are just naturally supposed to lose their hair and then their real texture comes in is what I hear okay there's a difference between your hair texture changing when you have a baby versus them having to physically lose their hair you don't have to lose your hair for your real hair texture to come in okay the hair texture that a baby has from birth is going to change because they're no longer surrounded by you know what they were when they were in their mother's stomach it's different environmental factors there's genetics there's a whole lot of things however that does not mean and a doctor will tell you that they do not have to lose their hair they're not supposed to lose their hair so you guys can throw that theory out okay my whole point in my journey if you pay attention to my videos when i started when savannah was what four weeks old is to take care of her hair so that it remains healthy and strong so that there isn't hair loss for one and also so that it's taken care of from early on okay so healthy hair healthy hair the goal is regardless of what your child's texture turns into you want to be doing a routine that keeps it healthy and strong so you don't have things like shedding hair loss balding all that other stuff okay so no savannah did not lose hair what is her hair type i don't know I can show you guys real quick. Any recommendations for the back hair drying up? Yes. If the Jamaican black castor oil isn't helping, the next thing that I would recommend is the kids version of the Curly Smoothie Enhancing Cream. That Shea Moisture Cells, this smells really good. But it's almost like a pudding, okay? I would use that in the back of the hair and I would do that because you're gonna have to figure out which products your child's hair works best with. I think a lot of people just assume if something says baby wash or something says, oh, for babies, then just keep using it. No, a lot of these products were not specifically designed for every child's hair type. That's just reality. So you have to really pay attention to what you're putting in your child's hair. And if you try something and it works for your friend's baby, but it doesn't work for yours, stop using it. There's so many products that you can go through and try and you'll find something that your child's hair reacts positively to. Um, somebody said, I have a six month old. I apply an oil that I mixed myself to her edges, but it's taking a long time to grow. I don't know what to do. Should I shave off all her hair and start over? Okay, listen. Believe it or not, I actually have gotten asked that question of 
first of all, did I shave off Savannah's hair? And then is that how it started to grow crazy? I do know that some cultures do believe in shaving off the baby's hair completely bald. That's a cultural thing. I can't speak on that. That's not my culture. But no, I don't think you should shave off your child's hair if it's not growing or, you know, the way that you like it to be in hopes that starting over it'll be, you know, better. They're kids, like they're babies. So whatever transition that their hair is going through, you just need to take the time, like with anything, invest time and education into figuring out what works for their hair. You wanna take her? London's gonna take Savannah. She'll join us in a little bit. All right, I know a lot of you've been waiting on this one. Where can I get the bonnets? Are you going to be selling the bonnets that you were selling? Yes, 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 I am. You guys, it got crazy with how many bonnet orders were going out, so. I had to take a step back because as you remember, I was finishing up with school with my um, bachelor's degree. So I was extremely focused on. So yes, the bonnets are returning. Probably in the next in the next two weeks. What size comb do you use in Savannah's hair? I change combs so often. If you see, I went through different combs through different stages of um, her hair journey. Now because her hair, it is literally so thick and curly. You guys know this good old old school comb. You can get this from the beauty supply store for a dollar. Where can I purchase the non-elastic rubber bands? If your local beauty supply store doesn't have them, you can probably jump online and see if you can get them through like Amazon. But yeah, I do not use regular elastic bands in her hair. How can I keep the texture of my baby's hair the same? Okay, guys. You are not God, okay? You cannot dictate the texture of your child's hair, but what you can do is make sure and try very hard to make it so healthy so that it doesn't get brittle, if that's what you mean, brittle, dry, break off, split ends, start to thin, shed, all of that. You can definitely help prevent that. Moisturizing, having an actual hair routine, all of that good stuff. Okay, how does Savannah sit so still and be well behaved while you're doing her hair? Okay. Distractions. I distract her. This comb is clean right now, so don't worry guys. If you're pregnant or if you have a really young child, I encourage you really and truly start a routine or at least start massaging their hair while you're feeding them while they're playing, while they're just relaxing. Put your fingers in their heads so that it becomes second nature for them and not stressful. Um, put on some music, Pandora or Disney Channel soundtrack. So that's how you get them used to a routine. Ooh, I also get a lot of crazy questions like, oh, why are you having a hair routine for your child? She's just a baby. Why not? Why wouldn't you do what's best or at least try to do what's best to take care of your child's hair? You can't just say, oh, they're a child. I'll take care of their hair when they turn like five or six. That's crazy. Like hair is hair. And if you take care of it, it'll continue to flourish and thrive. So to answer all of those questions that ask me, why are you even in your child's hair? Well, this is why, because when you start something young, it becomes a routine and it benefits you. So if you're taking care of your baby's hair, doing a lot of the tips that are covered, it can help to as they get older, they're not so stressed out, moving all around and don't want to be bothered with what you're trying to do. What is the best way to detangle? The best way to detangle is to have an appropriate comb based on your child's hair texture. Also, never detangle when dry. Do not do that ever in life. Do it when it's wet. So you start from the ends, comb, 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 and you make your way up. That's how I detangle. Oh, does Jamaican black castor oil help with reducing cradle cap? Yes, it does. Guys, I hope I answered all of your questions. If I didn't, as usual, you could hit me up on one of my social media accounts. Leave comments on here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We have a whole bunch of new content coming to you. I did say I would do her hair real quick.